So the last few days I have actually tried to record for like um, like in the morning, like the first thing I do. And uh, I didn't really feel like doing that today. So today I did it at night, really late. It's now uh, 1.30. I should have been to bed like one hour ago or something, or even even earlier than that, to be honest. Ideally, I would be to bed like at 11. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a rebellious person, so I do whatever I want. And nothing can stop me. Uh, just kidding, I'm not a fucking idiot. But, uh, you know, uh, I am kind of an idiot. Uh, so I'm staying up late instead and make this video. Because I really actually forgot about it. Uh, and I figured that I needed to forget about it because it's kind of been... Uh, it's been a little bit rough uh, lately, like uh, all this shit. Uh, things not going as I expect, and me having too high of expectations, uh, letting me to uh, get let down, and uh, realize that uh, I have a long way to go uh, still. And uh, it's, it's humbling as fuck, but I guess it's needed. Uh, because my uh, my ego or whatever thinks it's much easier than it actually is. Like I'm always like super confident and like yeah, I'm gonna make it. It's easy, you know. But fuck me, dude, it's not that easy. And uh, I'm not even made it to where I'm comfortable with uh, publish it in front of you know real people. Like, I couldn't even imagine showing this to my friends. I would be fucking embarrassed as hell. Uh, and I think... I think it's different with random people on the internet. Uh, because they choose to watch it, but... If I, like, show it to someone I know, I think it's just gonna be cringe as fuck, to be honest. But uh, that's not... The people I'm gonna make the videos for, I guess. Uh, and I really don't have an audience that I want to... The only thing I can think of is people that somehow relate to me. So I guess people my age. And... Uh, yeah. So, and also this is just a project to improve myself. And I also forget that a lot. Like, I always think that uh, I'm doing this for the views and stuff, but... If I did it for the views, then I would fucking promote it, you know? And I don't. That's because I don't really care about it. And I don't think it's worthy of showing. It's mostly a development process. And if people watch it, then fine. That's okay, you know? That's a bonus. Uh, but that's not how I want to do it. I want to make uh, worthy content. Content that is good and unique and stands out and uh, this is kind of like this is uh, you know uh, just some commentary over gameplay like that's been done a million times I feel like it's not like I'm saying that I it can't make it you know but it's in the content itself it's not unique I think uh, unless it's something um, that has been so, what is it called, like, outcycled now, that it's suddenly maybe going to reappear in the, in the YouTube scene, I don't know. Uh, yeah. That would be perfect for me, but, uh, <laughs> you know, you gotta, can't uh, dream too much, that will just distract you, I think. But, uh, yeah, it's not that I'm that hard on myself. Maybe I am too hard on myself, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is quality, super good content, you know? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so, though. But uh, I think it's okay. It's just some casual, low-effort thing. Uh, maybe someone will like to listen to someone talk about their problems uh, so they can forget about theirs. And yeah, maybe you should count, shouldn't underestimate that, I don't know. But other than that, uh, today was a okay day. 
I had some really bad days now lately, uh, but I think I turned it around today uh, after going to exercise. So I think it's something with exercising that just turns your mood around a bit. And then maybe, maybe it's my absence from exercising that makes me in a bad mood even. I don't know. I have to use my body though. If not, I'm just gonna be fucking, you know, in a bad mood. So I think it's about that sometimes i don't know but it swings like fucking crazy i feel like a woman sometimes i don't know fucking weird as hell maybe i'm a half woman or something i don't know uh that would be something to discover right about now <laughs> that would be fucking weird as shit or maybe it's normal i don't know me being a a woman and a boy i think that's uh really trendy now actually in 2021 maybe i should try it out just to see uh, what happens uh, i will get a lot of attention that's that's for sure and maybe that will get me views i don't know but uh, yeah other than that uh, let's talk about the day uh, i did the usual stuff uh, which is uh, super exciting i fucking read some pages in my science book and uh, wrote some notes in my notebook and after that I just yeah at the school there I just I always have like four slices of bread with peanut butter that I fucking eat after like one hour of reading and then I just eat that and then I go go to like a shop like that's 100 or 200 meters away from the school I go there and I have like this coupon thing on my phone, so I get free coffee or coffee for 10 kroners. So I just buy that and I have done that every day now and that's like kind of my routine now. Like go to the school, go read for one hour, then eat like four slices of bread with peanut butter, drink some water, maybe have a snack, and then go to buy a coffee or get a coffee. Then go back and read one more hour and then just go home. Or eat, read like two hours and go home. So a total of three hours or four hours in school is like what I usually do now. And what I what I do is just I read one hour every day. Uh, no, I mean I I read from the book, and I try to read it all, you know. And I think I have read the book all of the book like two times, three times now already, and I'm gonna go through it like two more times, just to be sure. Uh, because uh, I have all the time in the world, to be honest, so why not use it? And uh, it's actually some different, uh, I mean, interesting stuff that I read about. Like molecules and uh, cells and, you know, processes in the body, like fucking weird shit, you know? Like protein synthesis. Like, you see uh, the world in a different perspective when you learn about this stuff like you see a person and you know that oh this guy is built up by uh, trillions of microorganisms or whatever it's called and cells like blood cells skin cells every kind of cell ever muscle cells blood yeah everything and all those cells have like a membrane uh, a nucleus ribosome or like mitochondria everything like that and then there's dna in the nucleus uh, that helps with protein synthesis blah 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 cytoplasma all that shit uh, it's it's really interesting that when you look at your body you know it's a, a lot of living things there small things built up by cells and blah 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 and those are built by molecules and etc etc and you know genes and evolution and mutations it's a lot of weird shit going on in our body like i never thought about it before actually and uh if i just if i would pay attention in high school i would probably have learned it already but that didn't happen so now i'm back learning about those basic stuff i guess you could call it or like, yeah, it would have been basic, but uh, not for me. <laughs>